Hello, welcome to this lesson on animal organs. Uh, this lesson deals with how multicellular organisms are built with uh, cells which uh, and tissues, organs and organ systems and how they are different to single cell organisms in the way they have specialized organ systems to carry out functions. Mainly we are focusing on um, how multicellular organisms take in substances such as oxygen and glucose and amino acids, amino acids from digesting food and how it is transported um, all around the body and how this specialization make them so different to single celled organisms. We will also look at how cells group of cells uh, build tissues and tissues to organs organs to organ systems and to organism now just to clarify this organisms stands for any living thing now this build up of um, from cells to organism is true for multicellular organisms so we're going to be looking at that we're also going to look at how different types of tissues are made up of different types of cells which special those uh, th that specialize in certain functions so let's consider a large multicellular organism such as humans or you can take for example fish or any organism that is large enough which is made up of billions of cells and how cell differentiation works and what that actually means so as organisms develop after fertilization as in the case of humans and mammals it the cell single cell divides into a ball of cells and then into a, a bigger ball of cell in this case called blastocysts Remember, you don't need to know the name of this, but this uh, ball of cells, they all look pretty much the same. And this, these cells can differentiate into the cells, the special cells that make the tissues that builds the heart. For instance, the heart is made up of a lot of muscle cells which can contract and relax. So they have a special function and that is made from the cells, uh, the undifferentiated stem cells as they call and uh, the same cells can also differentiate and make brain cells which are completely different to the muscle cells and nerve cells um, called neurons okay and the same type, same cells can also make white blood cells and red blood cells and so on so all these different type of special cells are uh, they do come from the same type of cells uh, which is called the stem cells and it's really important to understand that cells do specialize for specific functions as a multicellular organisms develop. Now let's try to understand how a group of special cells make tissue. Uh, the cells will have similar structure and function. They do pretty much the same job. And they, the collection of similar cells make tissues and collection of different types of tissues makes organ an organ we'll see example of this in a minute and a collection of organs doing a similar job uh, gives rise to an organ system and a collection of these organ systems uh, gives rise to an organism organism is a term uh, used to describe any living thing so an organism can be any living thing okay so cells build up tissues tissues different types of tissues build uh, doing a similar job build an organ different organs doing a similar job or combined together performing a common job uh, forms an organ system and then collection of organ systems make an organism which is a living thing as you're probably aware of the fact that the, uh, these muscles in the stomach help it to move and churn the food 
uh, grinding the food into a pulp and helping aid, helping digestion and for that you the some a layer of the stomach wall is made up of muscle tissue all starts with a muscle cell so this is a single cell of uh, a muscle cell uh, which has got a unique structure as you can see it's kind of elongated uh, and it's got a specific function which is this uh, which is that this muscle cell can actually contract and relax and if you can imagine a collection of these muscle cells uh, is we can call that as muscle tissue which can do the same thing if you can imagine all these cells contract and relax and that that helps movement of that tissue so it helps to for the stomach to churn so this is not the only type of tissue that's present in uh, in stomach which is now an organ and um, so stomach is an example of an organ which contains this type of tissue muscle tissue plus other types of tissue which we're going to learn later on so for now as you can see how organs are uh, built from cells. Cells make tissues and different types of tissues build an organ. Let's have a look at a, even a bigger picture. So starting from muscle cell you get muscle tissue, a group of similar cell which are similar in structure and function. As you know these cells can contract and relax so they have similar function, they have similar structure as well and a collection of these tissues, different types of tissues, make an organ. As an example, I've given you, uh, I've given one example here: a glandular tissue. The inside wall of the stomach is made up of uh, glandular tissue, which can secrete all these digestive juices, including hydrochloric acid. Uh, it's made inside the stomach, which again helps the digestive digestion process. So, the organ is made up of different types of tissues but you can see this tissue is made up of different type of cells special cells uh, and they do a different type of job and they secrete these enzymes and chemicals uh, in the form of a liquid um, inside to, to aid digestion so they two different type of tissues but they make an organ but to perform on a common job which is churn the food and digest it okay so collection of these organs so this stomach is an example of an organ which is made up of different tissues you've got lots of organs put together to perform the job of digestion and that forms the digestive system as you can see you got the uh, gullet and then the stomach and the small intestine and the large intestine where most of the absorption takes place large intestine including the liver which secretes bile uh, pancreas which secretes insulin all of these organs play a part in one function which is digesting the food okay so that makes it an organ system an example of an organ system which is a collection uh, or system of organs put together and performing a common job so cell tissue or different types of tissues make an organ organ makes organ system and lots of these organ systems put together make your organism Okay, for example, uh, an example of an organism is human beings, which is uh, who contain a system of lots of organ systems. For example, skeletal system, nervous system, and digestive system. All of these organ systems make one organism. Let's focus on three main types of tissues and how these tissues make an organ. Uh, work and function and to start with you have muscular tissue it's made up of cells which can contract the whole tissue can contract and relax this makes movement possible glandular tissue which can produce substances such as enzymes and hormones so they for example salivary gland is an example of this this, this type of tissue which makes saliva that liquid saliva contains a lot of chemicals which aids digestion Epithelial tissues, they cover some parts of the body or organs. So it, it is the protective covering on most organs in the body. So we're going to be looking at 
how an example of uh, these tissues making an organ. Let's see stomach as a specific example of an organ which is made up of different types of tissues. Now what you see here is a small part of uh, a stomach cut open just so we can see inside the different layers of different types of tissues. You have that small section here and if you magnify that you get this. So this is like a magnified area of the showing the different layers of, of the stomach which really illustrates how an organ is made up of different types of tissues. So let's have a look at close look at the different layers and their functions. What you see here on the outside of the stomach is the outer epithelial layer which basically protects and covers and it also makes a slimy liquid uh, so it gives a liquid outer coating for the stomach uh, but its main function is to is to act as a protecting uh, surface to the to the inside of the stomach what you see next is the muscle layer which can contract and relax and churns the food making it into a pulp making making the digestion process easier mixing it with the chemicals and enzymes that is in the stomach so that's the job of the muscle layer and next what you see here is the epithelial layer another epithelial layer which covers the inside layer this layer is rich in blood supply which helps the supply um, which makes sure the muscle layer gets enough oxygen and glucose and supplies it with the essential uh, nutrients like glucose and stuff and then takes back any waste that is produced in the muscle cells. It also helps to absorb some of the food being digested here. So that that's the function of this and it also covers the uh, inside layer that you see here. Now right inside what you have is the glandular layer which is a layer of cells which has got a special function. So these cells that make the this tissue, glandular tissue, makes the enzymes and other chemicals including the hydrochloric acid that is sub secreted uh, inside the stomach which makes the chemical digestion possible. So the function of this layer of tissue is to secrete these digestive juices. So let's label these parts and summarize it. Okay, let's summarize that information. You have the outer epithelial layer, which has got uh, the epithelial cells, uh, which means that it's the epithelial tissue. Its main function being covering and protecting the insides uh, or, or other layers. Okay, and the next you have is the muscle layer, main function, uh, muscle tissue layer. The main function being ch churning the food uh, and it, uh, this this tissue can actually contract and relax, uh, making the churning possible. Inside you have the glandular layer of tissues, where you have secretion, making of this digestive juices as its main function. So as you can see, different types of tissues specializing in their own function, combined together doing a common job that makes the organ. So the organ is made up of different types of tissues. So as you can see how different types of tissues make stomach, which is a very good example of an organ. You should now be able to um, say what or describe what cell differentiation means and specialization means as an organism grows. Cells differentiate and specializes to do different functions. You should also be able to describe the how an organ system an organism is made up of building blocks starting from cells which forms tissues organs an organ system and a collection of organ organ systems functioning together as an organism okay so you should be able to describe that and you should also be able to describe how different types of tissues make an organ with a specific example being stomach so you should be able to do that by now and you should be glad to know that is the end of this lesson.